Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, determine Cohen's D uh, using R, specifically R Studio, as an effect size measure for a one sample t-test. Um, I'll show you which packages I've loaded, Ctrl Enter and Stats Graphics, so basically all the default packages. I'm going to set my working directory and this is just to get my data. I need the Haven package because my data is in an SPSS file, so uh, you probably won't need this unless you also have an SPSS file. I already installed this package, I only need to load it and then actually go for my data. And I'll show you what the data looks like. It's 1974 observations across 706 variables and in this particular case I'm interested in the ages. Now, column 6, it is numeric with range, but for some reason we need to convert it to uh, numeric later on. Unless uh, you want to only use base, uh, because Cohen's D is actually not that difficult to calculate. What you can do is you take your hypothesized mean, uh, then you determine the mean of uh, your sample, which I'll be doing with this line, uh, which apparently is about 48. Then the sample standard deviation with the SD command, which is also in base, which is 17.68. And then Cohen's D is simply the hypothesized mean minus the sample mean divided by the sample standard deviation. Now the result of that is, as you can see, 0 0.1021366. Now if this is still too difficult for you and you don't want to memorize this uh, formula, then there is an option to do it using the LSR package. I already installed it, so I won't be loading this line. I do need to load the package, so go for library LSR. That way the package is actually loaded. And here is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, it needs somehow uh, to change the ages to numeric, so I'm going to store them as ages, as numeric, as character, my data age. That actually adjusts everything to numerical values. And then I can use Cohen's D with a capital D of those ages and then set my hypothesized mean again to 50 or I could have used the mean HO. Control enter and it nicely shows me that uh, Cohen's D is 0 0.1021366. Check out my companion website mentioned in the description below for more information about what to do with Cohen's D and also uh, how to perform the one sample t-test, how to get uh, a visualization of uh, scale data, etc. Et okay, I hope this video was helpful for you.